A little over 100 years ago, this spot was the uh, place of the first regularly scheduled radio broadcasts. And today we're with Darren Milet of Adapterin, and you guys are doing something that will probably be a big milestone in uh, the use of radio waves. Why don't you tell us what we're going to see today? Yeah, well, good afternoon, Ken, and uh, thanks, uh, thanks for coming here today. Today we're actually going to use TV white space spectrum here in downtown San Jose for the very first time using Adapterin's commercial ACRS2 technology. So the Adapterin base station, in a matter of minutes, we were able to connect the base station through the antenna. The antenna is located here and ethernet comes in here so we're getting internet we get internet service through the ethernet to the base station the idea of a directional antenna will be covering about 60 degrees of beam width meaning everybody within 60 degrees will be able to every device that we connect will be able to uh, see this particular base station and make link we're going to be testing different performance characteristics from this particular site we're at the top of one of the tallest buildings in downtown san jose we have a couple channels of tv white space spectrum that we're going to be using and we're going to be testing its performance. How far can it go? Uh, can we penetrate in through buildings and can we go through trees? So it really is an exciting day and it's an exciting time for the TV white space industry. As you know, for several years, uh, the TV white space industry has been slowly evolving. This is a very challenging uh, regulatory policy to actually use TV white space and things have finally come together so we're, we're very excited to actually be putting it to use. We, we're in the process of actually shipping and selling equipment now not only here in the United States but around the world. Hopefully what we'll be witnessing today is a Charles Herald moment. So now we're probably a thousand feet away from where uh, where Darren and I spoke and we're with Jerry and so I think we're, most of our units we go down to like minus 95. What's it? I can't read it from here. Minus 64. Okay. And a half. So, yeah, I can't get a GPS signal in here. Jerry, what kind of bandwidth are we getting here through a brick wall, through glass, through trees? We're getting about four and a half megabits here. We're through about four walls and some glass. So there's a lot of diffraction propagation. And you can see right there, we're almost five megabits. So six and a half megabits here. Yes. 135 East Santa Clara. We're going through some trees and some walls. And we're getting a very good modulation, very high modulation and very good performance. How, how am I doing from, from me to you? How's from it? you to me, from corner to base, Yeah. 2.8, 3.3 right now. I see. So we're like uh, more than eight total, huh? Almost nine. We're more than, we're almost uh, not ten. ten almost ten. Yeah, that's what I have too. Now I'm two over three. Yeah, that's the, yeah. And I'm right, at. Let me, let me take a screenshot, okay? Wait, hold on a sec. Okay. So, Darren, we've just been all around downtown San Jose, four different sites. Why don't you tell us some of the conclusions you saw? Well, I have to say, I'm, I'm very impressed with what we saw today. We actually found some very challenging environments, environments where there were a lot of walls, there were a lot of trees. We found environments where we were actually on the other side of a very large building. So we're going through maybe 20 or 30 walls of steel and concrete. And we're able to get multi-megabit speeds, almost 10 megabits in some of these particular environments. And we're making very solid connections. So all in all, you know, at, at, here we are at the site of the world's first broadcasting station. And today was one of the first tests of TV white space in San Jose. And we actually did it from the exact same spot. I mean, it's just really been a great day. It really has. It's really cool to think that uh, hopefully this is a histor historic uh, moment in radio just like it was uh, over 100 years ago. Well, maybe we'll have a plaque up here uh, in 100 years that this was the first site of really TV white space use in San Jose. And from here, Adaptrum really takes off in this technology and this policy about using local spectrum for local good will really take off. Well, Darren, I wish you luck with that, and we'll be able to see it on uh, VOD TV hopefully 100 years from now. So thank you. Thank you very much. Great day. Thanks.